Hello everyone, welcome back to Amazing Paper. We're just flying above my base and I've been told to make sure I'm recording, so I'm expecting some shenanigans to be here. So, let's see what's been going on. I'm back at my base, uh, there's been a few changes, we'll have a look at those. But, first of all, custom trees. Check these out, courtesy of Retro. Uh, you may remember in my last video, I showed her new shop in the mall, which is all about custom trees. And I have actually been, I think, possibly one of the early customers for this service. And here we go. We have a uh, an oak tree, which I think is which dripstone blocks, which just looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm a big fan. There should be, if I... Have a quick look over here. Ah, there's a tree uh, missing over there. But we have both crystal and oak trees. Now this crystal tree is a bit more effort, a bit more work, a bit more expensive. More, more materials needed. But check it out. How cool does that look? big bigger than I thought it looks pretty amazing very happy with that and we've got uh, what appears to be some apples in the tree over there and we have a custom spruce tree here quite a thin one and another one there yeah pretty cool so in terms of changes around the base since uh, the last episode, I didn't really do much recording in the base, uh, up top at least anyway. We have the sheep farm here, which I've now covered up. And um, we'll have another crystal tree here at some point, and we've got enough bits for that. Uh, I The idea is I kind of, it was an ugly looking thing, I just want to cover it up. And um, we have also some plans some footprints for some new buildings which have been in place for some time but I've not actually wanted to start building them yet until the replay mod starts to work for 117 because I've not done many time lapses recently I do like my time lapses and I think this will be a great example of where that would come together nicely so we have around the the town center the town square that nutmeg and built a few a few episodes back i've marked out the footprints of four buildings the corner buildings around the square here and here and what have we got going on here okay we're going to have a look at that in a bit but for now these are the footprints of the buildings in this episode i'm going to build them up and this square is going i hope to look awesome and the creeper farm as well that i mentioned in the last episode i've just put this building on top of it just to just to cover it up it was just a cobblestone uh, set of slabs down here but what i might do is when i get some of uh, the shards i think they're called is put some tinted glass in here so i can actually see the creepers spawning without letting any light in but for now it's just an empty room let's check this mushroom out shall we what on earth <laughs> well um i kind of like it she's obviously put some effort into it lots of different blocks in there calcite diorite mushroom blocks and I think I even saw some redstone blocks up the top there as well okay well uh thank you I'm guessing retro um for this addition to my base which I think is just about as fits in just about as well as these two buildings down here okay let's waste no time shall we um actually one thing I forgot to mention is that I've actually done a bit of terraforming around here because this was all open uh, my sugarcane farm and melon and pumpkin farm are all underground now um, so that's now been terraformed to make it look a bit more natural uh, I think we'll get going on this building 
straight away. Let me just show you down underneath, first of all. A nice touch with the apples. So, this is what we have. This was all above ground before. This is the creeper farm down here, which I don't think I've shown you yet. Not really a great viewing platform for it, but we have the cats doing their job. And we're probably a little bit too close. Yeah, either way, this is the design. I posted a, a link in the description of the last video. Nice and simple, really easy to build. If you need reasonable supplies of gunpowder, then you should certainly go check it out. So here we go. What do you think? It's it's very woody. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think he's too shabby at all. I I love the way it complements the rest of the architecture in the area. Obviously, there's a few redstoney bits that I still need to hide, but I'm pretty happy. I've used a bit of wood, a bit of spruce. Um, could do with perhaps a little bit more variation. Eat ye. Does that mean anyway i'm heading over to the mall because i'm supposed to be meeting up with retro and we're going to choose a winning theme for a competition we're just about to start right i'm just going to add another theme any theme you want uh, Oh, okay. So, do we still need one more? Yes. Um. Have we got modern in there? Futuristic. Yes. Modern. Hmm. Steampunk. I'm loving this fruit house one. I've no idea what that is, but I'm quite keen oh, to yes. see what it is. Why not? Yeah. Wild West. Uh, maybe science fiction? Minecraft biome. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seems right. Okay, we have all nine. Right, so does it just come out the front then? Right. And you book the note. 
Here we go. Futuristic. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So I'll pop that in the chest. And I guess we'll let the others know on Discord and I'll keep flattening out the chunk area. Okay. Wonderful. Well, that was quick. That was easy. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I'll see you around. Yes, yeah. On other matters, I wanted to show you the new competition that I've started on the server. And that competition is called Pimp My Chunk. It's through this portal. You can get on the portal. And what I want to explain is there are actually two competitions on the server at the moment. Well, I guess it's, there is one that is a proper competition. But there is this other competition, or, or I guess just a build, which is the Hyper Tower. And this is uh, has been initiated by Retro, and she is trying to get everyone to build, a, a, I guess, a collaborative tower. She's calling it a Hyper Tower. So welcome to the Hyper Tower. The goal of this build is to make the most amazing and biggest build in the server, but there is a catch. Everyone can build on it in every building style that they want. Only two rules. You can't break, break, break a single block in the tower. So once you've placed the block, you can't get rid of it. And every building that touches the tower becomes the tower. Have fun. So here we have it. I will not dwell too much on some of the other areas. In fact, let me um, fly around here. These trees are looking very ropey since I added a vanilla tweak to make it look a little bit more 3D. But yeah, you may notice a familiar face. This used to be in my base. This was uh, um, some um, quite quite old prankage now from Citrus a good few months ago, at least three or four months ago, that's been watching over me in my base for, for a long time. But it doesn't quite fit in with the theme, so... I have relocated it. I thought this was a perfect candidate um, to go on top of, or certainly as part of this tower. But uh, for those who have watched Citrus's video, I will have seen this snowman here. There was actually there is actually a snowman's head, which I don't think we can we can just about see it over there. Um, but I thought that would belong quite nicely as part of this community project. So. In terms of my my competition, that I'm it's a, it's a one chunk build competition, nice and simple. You've seen them before. These trees are really irritating me. I'm going to switch to a shader. One moment. That's better. How much better does that look? Even the hybrid tower looks amazing. With its craziness. I'm looking forward to seeing that grow. So at the moment there are one, two, three, I think there are four different people that have contributed and there's a lot more on the server, so that will be interesting. But here we go, pimp my chunk. Literally all I have done is marked out, at the moment we have five chunks as so I've uh, fenced off, lit up to some degree. And down here we have a little gathering place a bit of a cozy campfire where we can swap chunk building stories with each other and here we go this is the much like we've got at the top of the hill for the tower we have some more instructions here so it's the first ever one chunk challenge on the server the theme that has been selected at uh, with a random uh, dispenser button is futuristic and we all, we all contributed on the server in terms of theme ideas futuristic was chosen so the best 16 by 16 plot in the futuristic theme one diamond block to get in and so name, name the diamond block so we can see who's playing in fact let's just have a quick look and see what we've got here so we've got lovejoy me citrus and sharpies so four entrants so far um 
We've also asked people to um, uh, claim their chunks. I'm not sure if anyone's done that yet. Just say hello to Coralito. And that's another another player, I believe, is going to be taking part. Um, I doesn't, don't really see any signs to see that people have claimed their chunks yet. But the actual deadline for building your... Ah, there we go. Lovejoy, Lovejoy has claimed that one. The actual deadline is the 6th of August. So, um, so, yeah, so we've asked people to... Add your name and the name of your chunk build because of course the name of your chunk build will surely improve your chances of winning uh, end of 6th of august to be built by and then we will have a vote with all members of the server so and and the prize is effectively a combined entry fee put together i'm uh, thinking of uh, putting a little diamond uh, hermitcraft style diamond block pile uh, for the prize money to maybe entice a few more people in as well so that is pretty much it from over here i wanted to go back to our base and uh, show you um how that's coming on because in shaders it looks special up here in my balloon we have a great view of the progress of my base area we can just about see no we can't see all of it there's more over there so we have the trees that have been added that especially the crystal trees look just amazing from above the the plots of land i have not got around to finishing that was a little bit ambitious it took me much longer than expected to build this one here so let's have a little look down shall we around here at certain times of the day where this base is spectacular um, when the sun comes through the gaps in the trees looks great loving it but yeah this is it it's it's um as i said earlier perhaps a bit too much wood a bit too woody i might look at swapping perhaps this the cobblestone with some darker texture um perhaps the the actual uh, oak slabs here with something a bit different maybe just to try and give it a little bit of variation in color Okay, uh, what else do I need to show? Oh yes, of course, um, Sharpie's Builds. Uh, this is Sharpie's Build Company. Well, I hired him to build me a bridge because I've extended the base around here under the uh, villager, the, the dirt trading hall, uh, which I really do need to look at because it looks horrendous. But uh, I've extended a little path around here um let me just let Coralito know that I'm talking to you guys and I can't type okay so this is it so the I where's the water gone where has the water gone And just like that, we have water again. What a great way to look at the bottom of the sea, actually, when that was off. Never mind. Where were we? Oh, yes. Sharpies' bridge. So this bridge is going to link, or has already linked this little continent here. If I, uh, if I can remember how to fly. Now this continent here, this little peninsula up here with the desert biome the other side of the river and what i plan to do around here is uh, create a docks area so a bit more industrial in theme and i think that starts to show itself with the use of blocks that sharpies has used so i asked him to make it a little bit less wood themed like it is over there and start to look at a little bit more steampunk industrial steampunk uh, approach i would say so he's built this kind of gear in the water to make it look a little bit more mechanical as a bridge and also the other side is kind of like a counterweight with this giant block of ore that is down there so and the idea is uh, 
I might need to do something about this because it's a bit of a pain when you've got auto jump on. It comes up here and we come out into the desert. Well, when it was a desert until I stripped it of the top layer of sand, then I can put some of it back, not a problem. And on that note, I think we are done for the day. That is all folks. A bit of a quick episode this time. I've got to do a lot of off camera building um, in the next couple of weeks, I think before our next episode. So I'll try and build up some more of the town center buildings. Um, and this will look wonderful when it's complete. It will certainly start to look a lot more urban, which is what I'm looking for. I will also probably go back to the storeroom that I did in the last episode and finish that off because that's uh, kind of stalled. I've moved on to something else that I've completely forgotten about some of my earlier projects that I've started. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure to make. Loving the shaders, loving the trees, retro trees. If you're a if you're a server player, go shop at Retro's One Two Tree Shop. I highly recommend it. Really makes the, your bases pop out in terms of uh, the just the beauty of them. Thanks everyone. You take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.